Speaking of psychedelics, what 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 will those look like in 10 years from a legal standpoint? Obviously, we've seen in America some decriminalization yeah. in places like, I think, Oakland and Denver yeah. and a few others. But that is still just decriminalization. Yes. Um, should they be legal? Will they? Will it be easier to experiment with them if they are? How do you feel about that? Or where do you want them to go? I'd like them to be legal. Um, I'd like us to have... A re to start building now really good structures of community support, education, lots of people that can train people, a network of therapists that have expertise in this area, and to create a really, really good infrastructure for, for supporting the emergence of this. But I would like it to be legal because it doesn't make any, it doesn't make any sense to me that they're, they're not. I mean, in terms of, yes, you can have a really terrifying experience, and if you... There have been cases, well, there, have been, there are anecdotes of people taking like psychedelics with loads of other drugs in settings where they felt unsafe, where they've had really shocking experiences and might have suffered from, you know, kind of, they might not have really been able to move on from it because they've done some real psychological damage. And so that's what people are scared about with psychedelics, the idea that you could have like flashbacks or like break your brain in some way. But what we've seen in all the research when it's done safely and in a controlled environment, we haven't seen that happen at all. I mean, there have been tens of thousands of patients who have gone through studies and of participants who have gone through modern psychedelic studies and we haven't had any medical emergencies so they are non-addictive the only side effect we've seen so far is a headache um when they're used with a therapist there you know I, I feel very confident that they're relatively safe and you know when David Nutt has done his like charts all the harms of different drugs like alcohol and cocaine and all those ones that are used commonly are really really harmful and then you've got like psilocybin there at the end with this terms of the cost of harms to the individual and society tiny like that's the lowest one so why is this one illegal and this one's legal it and makes why no is sense. that and why was David Nutt fired from his job by because the, because they are transformation because they have the power they they enable you to see things in a different way and the way they are dangerous is that they um they have a the dangerous transformation and that that, that transformation is very threatening for people that stand to gain by the current status quo governments corporations yeah so maybe it's not a conscious separate to keep away or it's a subconscious or who knows who knows okay and the baggage from the ex from making them illegal many years ago yeah yeah Which, or is it more of the former um i think it all kind of worked together because i think probably they were made illegal probably because people were kind of not going to vietnam and saying you know yeah. like i think that was and probably the real, the yeah. yeah and then all those stories about like the health problems were all the media kind of found those stories to you know, support the case for making them illegal. So I sometimes feel desperately sad if I let myself go there, that because they were made illegal, we've lost all those decades of research. There were such promising findings in the 50s that if that hadn't happened, if our society had become more connected to nature, more connected to ourselves and each other, if we'd had rates of addiction were much lower, rates of depression much, much lower, that, that, it, that we would be much more likely to survive as a species than we are going on right now. And that makes me sad. Yeah. And that makes me just think that any the, the longer we carry on with them being um, illegal is just minimizing our chances of adapting as a, as a society in the way we need to, to become more interconnected. Mm -hmm.